Yo, uh, Casual Dresser here. I'm bringing you a video that is not supposed to be a video because I was supposed to be bringing you a video about the Pananara magazine. However, um, this week I had lots of messages about uh, my video on reselling and in particular buying bulk orders. And it just so happens that tomorrow I have uh, a bulk order coming in. So I thought I'd just show you all how it sort of goes down and what I do to, to buy a bulk order. Um, I'm in 4K today, so if you cast your minds back to one of my first videos when I said I'm not very good with technology, I've got the brand new iPhone and I've been filming most of my recent videos in, I don't even know, sort of the, the standard of a 3210. For those of you who remember a Nokia 3210. So I'm in 4K now, so hopefully the, the visuals are much better. Um, so I'm just going to read my sheet here. So, um, yeah, on the back of the reselling video, people asked me about buying bulk and if I could sort them out with bulk. And then I normally get messages on Instagram really regarding that. Um, I can't really sort out any bulk buying. I know one lad who will sort you out lots of gear new at a discount. If you want to get in contact with me and I'll sort of be the middleman there, message me on my Instagram. Instagram's there. Um, I'm also hoping, I've got five weeks left to my holidays, I'm hoping that you guys and girls out there, if you like the content, can you just share my page from your Instagrams or YouTubes? I'm hoping the Hawks... That's windy. I'm hoping the Hawks is going to uh, give me a shout out on his page soon. Um, so if you can do that, let's see if we can get to a thousand subscribers because we're nearly there, right? Two, five, five weeks to go. See if you can do it. Um, so I bulk buying. There is a lad coming down tomorrow from Durham. I'm not going to give you his name yet, just in case he doesn't want to be uh, put in front of an audience. But I've been selling him some stuff, and I always talk about having a good rapport with someone. Um, and keeping the conversation polite and me and this guy have been selling him some stuff and he said to me look i've got loads of stuff that i want to sell it do you fancy fancy it so i'm going to sort of take on a journey of what happened in this bulk bag would you believe that i have literally just recorded six minutes of video and not even pressed the record button absolute nightmare right okay let's go again so the idea right now is for me to show you the process from what me and this lad have been talking about and how I decided on what I was going to pay and if I wanted to buy this bulk buy from him. So um, here's a little video, I've put it all together in a video for you. So I asked him for pictures of the garments, so he sent me down this nylon metal shirt, there's the art number for you, a garment dyed over shirt, there's the art number again. The ghost sweater with the art number, I'll come back to that in a minute, a lovely ghost sweater. Kangaroo pocket sweater he had for me. Uh, he had a cotton jumper. Lovely micro yarn gile. Shof, a soft shell primer loft, a shoff shell, I don't know what that is. A micro yarn hooded down jacket, there's the art number again. Long sleeve t-shirts, underrated, really like them. Uh, a wool knit. No art number on this, I'll talk about that later on in the video. A uh, garment dyed down jacket. And a soft shell. So I asked him for pictures of all the items and then I asked him for the art numbers. So here's an example of one of the art numbers, 68151084. That's where you'll find your art number. And of course I also asked him for a Certi logo from each piece. So here's an example from the nylon metal shirt. The CLG code, I banged that into Certi Logos platform online and it came back as authentic. Now, um, if you want to look at any more to do with the art numbers, Certi Logo, I've done past videos on that. But that's where you would find your art number and your Certi Logos, that's how we're going to find. So, I've got the art number, so when he sends me the, the product, I can get the art number, bang it into Google and make sure that the item matches the art number. Sometimes it didn't even match from the start, so that's obviously a red flag, you wouldn't buy it. These all matched. I then needed to make sure that actual, the actual item was legit, so I got all the Certi logos from it. Now it's quite tedious, he had to send me 13 art numbers and 13 Certi logos. But it gave me a chance then to sit and type each one into the, the system to make sure they're all authentic. So, I know that the 13 pieces are authentic. I know the sizes of them. I know the conditions because I've asked him. 
so we come up with a price between us um, now I've helped him out on, on deals before um, and he came up with a price for this I came up with a price we met somewhere in the middle um, the benefits for him of selling it all to me is that he doesn't have to post them he doesn't have to take time taking pictures to post them uh, on any of the selling sites doesn't have to pay any fees uh, gets them all sold in one go um, the downside probably is he's driving all the way from Durham, which is a fair old trek. Um, so that's sort of the background. Now, when people talk to me about, you know, how do you meet these people? They're just reg he's just a regular guy. A regular guy with a Stone Island collection who we've talked back and forth for a long time, just me helping him out on little bits, building his collection, buying some pieces off me. But then he reached out to me to bulk buy some items from him and I'm more than happy to do that. So if you've got this a similar thing and you want to get rid of a lot of pieces because you want to buy something new or you want to buy, people want to put deposits down on houses now because the housing market's going crazy, send me a message to my email below um, or my Instagram. My Instagram's probably better because I can get back to you straight away. Um, and we can have a look at what you've got and sort of do something similar to this. You can, all, you can also post them. Um, but what we'll do now is I'm going to see you on the other side. So I'm going to see you in the morning, tomorrow morning, just before the lad comes down and I'm going to talk you through a little bit about the actual meat itself and handing over the money because that's quite important. All right, so I'll see you then. Okay, so we've just talked about the art numbers uh, and checking items that way. We've talked about the CLG codes, so making sure they're all legit and that's really important in this day and age because some of the fakes, as you'll see in my previous videos, are absolutely outstanding. Um, the lad's going to turn up pretty shortly he doesn't want to be filmed and um, he says he's a bit shy i'll see if i can get him on camera if i can then no worries i'll probably give him a shout out at the end um so what to expect now obviously he's going to turn up with 13 different items i'm going to check them systematically in order of the order i put them on my laptop i'm going to look especially at the down items to see if there's any tears any micro tears in them because um, these can be quite hard to see and massively affect the value. Uh, I'm going to smell them all. <laughs> I'm going to smell them all um, because you don't want items that stink. Uh, so I'll go through all 13 items and then if I'm happy with it, um, we'll make the deal. Now I've got a few items in my house that I'd like to sell him and negotiate the price down a little bit. So I've got those as well. So let's see if he buys any of those. I think I've got uh, a couple of ghosts, a G -Lay, um, and a couple of knits um, but you might want to buy some of those and take some value off what I'm buying um, but I'll meet you on the other side and we'll have a look then about listing these items um, on my Instagram but I just thought it'd be a nice video to show some of you out there who have never really made a deal uh, in person I'm doing it outside because it's it doesn't really affect my family then. they can get on with their normal life and um, the dog you all know about the dog he's inside he's not coming out um, but I would say if you are making cash in hand deals, just to be safe, make sure you know who the person is. Um, probably meet them at your home. Probably easier than meet them outside. I've seen so many stories of people getting stabbed in meets. So uh, just look after yourselves. Um, try not to go on your own. Try to go with someone else uh, if you're going to make a deal. Uh, and the same way this lad is, he's been quite cautious. He didn't, he didn't want to send the package down. Um, so I'm going to bank transfer in front of him. Don't accept PayPal. Don't accept PayPal deals one to one, especially if it's goods and services, because the item will never have been delivered. So they'll just refund the money, and you'll be out all that cash. So or all those items. So only accept bank transfer or cash. But if you're taking cash, make sure you're next to a bank so you can go and pay it in to make sure that's legit as well. So that's probably my tip for buying and selling in terms of money transfer, bank transfer or cash in hand but you want to be at a bank and paying it in do not accept paypal at all see you soon right take them out how long have you been collecting for them uh, i've just been collecting for a couple of years yeah what you do now? Get the bigger stuff then, or are you just gonna keep going? Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, just, just whatever. I say something I like on. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're supposed to be in there. 
I think that's your one, mate. Yeah. Uh, you sport a football team then? I used to, not anymore. Like. Who do you sport? I used to sport Newcastle. Oh, really? Uh, but not now. Not now. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to talk to camera. Hello. Um, right, massive pile of stuff here. I'm going to go through it bit by bit by bit. So the first one is the crew neck. There we go. So one crew neck jumper. I might dye this actually. I might dye it black. I've got something else I need to dye. Crew neck jumper. And then a hooded down jacket. I guess that's that one. So you've always got to check that there's no tears in them. It's like being on TV, this one someone's watching. <laughs> it is like being on TV. So down jacket, hooded. Gile. Which Gile is that? It must be this one. Is this your Gile? No, it's not Gile. Which one is it? This one. I like these Gile's actually. I wonder what you can see on camera. I brought some jackets down as well. You can see. So Gile. Perfect. Um, kangaroo pocket sweatshirt. This one. Sometimes I feel like an absolute dick talking to camera. Check. That heavy knit. You see this one here? You can't find anything about it online. Absolutely nothing. You know when you put the art number in? I know it's real. But when you put the art number in, the only person that's got one is on Schmock. Is it Spock? Schmock. There's only one on there. There's not one from a company. Which is really weird. That's that one. Overshirt. This is probably the star, isn't it, of them all? Those weft overshirts just go for ridiculous money, don't they? Mm -hmm. And the different coloured ones. What size is this one? Uh, large, I think. Oh, I might be able to get in this. <laughs> That's this, I might be able to get in it. Can you get in it? Oh, if you, oh, you can get in it, I might be able to get in it. You're quite tall, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I'll show this one to camera. I wonder if we can get Thomas in. It's Thomas, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if we can get Thomas in by the end. Next one. Uh, soft shell primer loft. I'm guessing that's this one. This had a few little marks yeah, on, didn't it? White marks on the sleeve and that. I wonder what it is. I wonder if you can get them out. Yeah. Well, I walked in the barbers one day and I'm walking back, I realised that they're marked. I like the primal offside of that. There we go. Thomas, you got an Instagram? I do, it's, uh, it's Thomas Kell in the street at the end. Thomas Kell 3. I'll bang it on the screen now. T-shirt, that'll fit me. I look like a hunk in that. Overshirt, that'll fit me. I like these pink colours, these rose mm -hmm. colours. This one's one without the art number, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I still the How weird that they cut an art number out. So they've cut the art number out of this one, but they haven't cut the CLG out. I wonder if they cut it out because it got itchy. Sometimes people cut these art labels out because they get itchy. I've done it with a few actually. Pink again, pink shell colour. Um, they're both hooded. 
Are both those jackets hooded? Yeah, they are. Oh, weird. This one came back as a non hooded. They're so fragile, these things. Lads love these. I mean, I couldn't wear these because I would just worry that every time I put it on, I have to wear something that I know if I scrape up against something, it stays intact. Yeah. Although I went out one night with a Telestella on and I lost all the buttons for it. I had a fight with my friend and yeah, lost every button to it. Go sweater. These are nice, I've had loads of these. That was dirt then. Is that mad? Was that there before? Yeah, that was there before. Has it been washed? Would you think that could wash out? I have been in the wash, that one. It's been I in the wash? It hasn't been in the wash. Oh, bad. Never. Never. And then the last one, soft gel. Soft shells just stand the test of time. People always want soft shells. So, 13 items. And just remember what I said about payments. Don't accept PayPal. Because if it never gets delivered, people will be asking for their money back. I'll bang this. And then a massive pile on here. So what a lovely guy Thomas was. Um, I did sell him a couple of jackets, um, which obviously changed the price slightly for me. So he's taken away a couple of nice jackets from me. Um, I've got all his pieces, so I'll make a bit of money off those. Um, I wouldn't do it otherwise. But it will take a lot of time and effort, and some of those items will just sit in my wardrobe for a while because the jackets, down jackets, and not going to sell in the middle of summer, or not very well anyway. Come winter, the price of them will go up. So it's not really like stock X with trainers where the price goes up and down in seasons, uh, or doesn't go up and down in seasons. Jackets do go up and down, so the prices for winter jackets now are low. They'll obviously increase as we get to the winter months. Um, but the bulk buy was really easy, as you can see. Um, I just got all the items out, I had a look through each one of them, um, I was happy with the price and I just transferred the money in front of him so he had it. Um, like I said, don't use PayPal. It's no good. It's no good for uh, when you're meeting somebody. So don't fall foul to that. Um, but I hope the video sort of give you a, sh a little insight into, you know, starting a little bit of buying and selling. Um, I'm not meaning screwing people over and making thousands and thousands of pounds. I'm just meaning just a little side hobby um, to what I do every day, which is teaching. Um, so, just going back over those points, please share this channel if you like it. I would like to try and get to a thousand before summer or the end of summer. Um, drop me a message if you've got any questions, if you're an independent seller and you want me just to, sh to shout you out. Now, I have had people saying, can you shout me out on your website or on your YouTube? I can only do that if I've had some experience with you or know someone else who's had some experience with you. I can't be shouting out independent resellers who have got a bad rep or could possibly have a bad rep because then that would come back on me. Um, but please do, if you want me to shout you out, um, just let me know. Uh, if you've got any products you want me to look at and review, again, please do let me know. Um, I wish you lots of success if you're going to go and buy your first bulk buy. If you do want some new stuff, direct from Flannels with a little bit of a discount, please just private Instagram me uh, and I'll see if I can get that sorted out. Um, and that's it. If you want to buy any of these items, assuming most of them have not gone, if you want to buy any of these items, again, just go onto my Instagram. Uh, you'll see them for sale on there. Uh, look after yourselves. Uh, the weather is still good, so enjoy enjoy your times in the garden with the children or the family or whoever it may be reach out to me if you're ever um going through bad times um and see you for the next episode